Hello and welcome to Cuisine Critiques. Um, this critique or this 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 episode is going to be a little bit different um, in that I won't be reviewing a restaurant. Um, I guess you could call it maybe a sub. Uh, division of cuisine critiques where it might be called my favorites because there are two more places that I'm going to critique later on but not in this show um, so um, give you a little background um, everybody that knows me knows that I am a complete I guess you can call me a foodie I like desserts I like baked goods. I like pies and cakes and such. And um, at some point, I'm just going to really have to get a handle on it <laughs> and probably join uh, Shea Brown Brown's uh, Fit for Life, the bigger portion of Fit for Life, because it's in my mind. But let, anyway, um, I guess my love affair with baked goods started when I was very young, um, uh, probably six seven um my mother used to work at a place that is now closed called virginia donuts it was on asqua street and it bothers me that there is no mention of um there's no mention of virginia donuts in any of the past literature um that is out there um but it was um until it closed it's it's how my mother uh, provided for us my uncle and uh, a couple of my cousins worked there too um, so it's a little bit bothersome and I don't know why it's not any any records of the uh, Baltimore but it's not but uh, as I was um, trying to start out um, when I was young living on the east side of Baltimore um, Neighborhood bakeries were um, uh, in a great many places. Uh, there used to be one that was not far from me. It's a house now. But in doing my research for this, um, Woodley Bakery, uh, which is the subject of this, um, had this to say. Um, there was a time not long ago when the neighborhood bakery was part of life in America. The smells of freshly baked bread was never distance. Cakes and pies and seasonal treats were a walk away. And that much is true. From where I lived on the east side, um, two blocks I could be at the, the, the first of the bakeries that I used to frequent when I was young. Uh, on the other side of Patterson Park down into South Baltimore, which I was a kid, so that walk was nothing. I remember going to, uh, it was in a house, it was in the middle of the neighborhood where it was a bakery at and then there were bakeries up in the Highland Town area. Uh, so um, fast forward to now uh, they go on to say and on their thing is many local bakeries couldn't compete with supermarkets with the needs of the shopper many people quietly accepted the quiet the quick processed bread baked items and forgot what freshly baked really meant and that much is true um, now you can get you know your donuts and your giants and your Safeways and such uh, donut Dunkin Donuts uh, you slip and fall you fall into a Dunkin Donuts now it's getting as um, they're getting as many locations as Starbucks uh, and then my favorite um, and the organized bakery is Krispy Kreme and everybody knows that. Um, but I wanted to talk about Woodley Bakery. Um, the location I'm talking about because I did a little bit of research just before coming on and found out that the Woodley Bakery that I go to, which is the, I guess it's, that's the first one, um, is located on uh, 4905. Bel Air Road, a very busy road in the um, Moravia section or the R Moravia community of uh, Baltimore. But I actually found out that they have a second location in Bel Air, 
which is uh, 5548 Baltimore Pike. But I guess you're wondering where I can go to Krispy Kreme, which I love Krispy Kreme. Um, Dunkin' Donuts, don't really love Dunkin' Donuts donuts, but I will take them. Uh, their coffee is good. Um, but what sets Woodley Bakery apart from uh, a lot of places? Uh, like I say, Woodley Bakery is located on um, 4905 Bel Air Road. Uh, apparently it got its name from uh, there's Woodley Street not too uh, far from there and that's where they got the original name. Um, but um, what sets Woodley uh, Bakery apart? Uh, it, 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 you can go to Woodley Bakery and everything is freshly baked as I was saying and as they were saying in their um, on their website it is you can get cakes cupcakes breads and rolls pies cookies donuts even these large um, <laughs> mega donuts uh, and then you can get I don't know whether it's a Baltimore thing or uh, it's seasonal I know that they have peach cakes around I think it's the Thanksgiving I've never and I have to admit I've never tried peach cake uh, but since I'm doing this um, maybe at some later time I will come back to it so I'm going to try a peach piece of peach cake but they have decorated cakes you can go in and order your decorated cakes um, uh, refrigerated cakes but all of this is all fresh all of this is fresh um, if you come in for the donuts, um, you definitely um, can get donuts and, and a coffee. Um, I'm sure people know um, that donuts comes in two different flavors. You have your yeast raised or raised donuts, which are uh, light and fluffy and airy, as they say. Uh, those are the uh, glazed Krispy Kremes, that very light, fluffy almost airy, airy um, consistency that Pastor Seal that Pastor Phil says that they don't have any calories they do but sadly I don't <laughs> I don't kind of care about that and or the cake donuts uh, which are the better ones for dunking in uh, coffee that they have a as the uh, definition says it has a denser crumb and crispy exterior that provides a crunch but it also holds up well in uh, coffee so um, again they are things that set uh, Whitley Bakery or freshly baked goods Whitley being my favorite in the Baltimore area there are other um, smaller bakeries in the Baltimore area but Whitley is my favorite uh, in doing my research um, like I said, when I was young, there were neighborhood bakeries almost every place. Uh, not so much now. There are still a few um, true bakeries that uh, do their baked goods. So Whitley is my favorite. So um, when I looked into um, the reason, or oh, let me let me put it this way: if someone to ask me why do you like Whitley? as opposed to Krispy Kreme, which they know that I'm a Krispy Kreme fanatic, and uh, Dunkin' Donuts. So, um, in getting into it, I found myself um, in, a, in a state of comparison. Um, and I didn't mean it to, I didn't start it to be that way, but then I found out that it, it was... Uh, hard to get away with comparing it and seeing what I see um, about um, why Woodley, Woodley Bakery is set apart from the other two bakeries what I named um, and I think I felt this a long time ago where I bought a jelly donut at um, Krispy Kreme and they aren't that big but in that bite I never touched jelly <laughs> I never did and I was like, this is not what I'm used to. Um, I will say that uh, I did go back for th this particular episode. I did go back and I'm doing a comparison between 
uh, Whitley Krispy Kreme and, and Dunkin' Donuts. And on this trip, I actually uh, got a nice jelly-filled donut um, at Krispy Kreme, but you're going to see in my comparison, uh, there is no comparison. Um, I am still going to go to Krispy Kreme. Um, I will still stop past the Dunkin' Donuts in a pinch, um, but definitely get some coffee. Um, but I can honestly uh, drive past a Dunkin' Donuts and it doesn't really, you know, bother me to jump, uh, go past a Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, but when I drive over in the area of uh, um, where the Woodley Bakery at, it's, it's almost a, a force of will to, to not stop. Um, if you do go to the Bel Air location, Bel Air Road is a very busy road. Um, there are, it's metered parking, and if you park on the other side of the road, please be careful walking across the street. It's a very busy road. But uh, what I did as a comparison, I picked up uh, three different types of donuts from all three bakeries. Um, the glazed, the chocolate, and the jelly filled, which... Um, is one of the main reasons I go to to Whitley. Um, what you'll see as in the comparison is that um, I use a kitchen scale more for um, uh, when I'm comparing sizes to let them all sit on something but then I decided to hit the weight button on that uh, on the on the scale itself and there's a marked difference so let's start with the um, the glaze first uh, on the glazed um, on the glaze uh, you will see that um, the Krispy Kreme came in at 16.9 ounces um, the Woodley came in at 26.2 and the Duncan uh, came in at 22 um well let me let me let me i i have to apologize um that's 2.77 uh ounces uh whitley is 4.30 and uh dunkin donuts is 2.40 uh 46 uh and as you can tell and the glaze there is a marked size difference and weight difference when it comes to uh, the glazed donut uh, the under the chocolate glaze again there's a marked difference in the weight uh, with uh, Woodley coming in at 3.03 .03 and Krispy Kreme coming in at a lower 2.06 and the Dunkin Donut falling in the middle but it's the jelly filled, which I'm going to show you in a few, that really made a makes a difference. So under the jelly filled, um, Woodley again tops them at a 4.30. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts um, came after that with a 2.46, and the Krispy Kreme. No, actually the Krispy Kreme came in at a higher 2.77 and the Dunkin' Donuts came in at a 2.46. Okay, so um, uh, let's look at the jelly field. And uh, in the slide, you can see that I've cut them all in half. Um, and you can see that, again, like I said, this time Krispy Kreme did put um, uh, more f uh, jelly filling in it. I don't know uh, if this was the whether the first time was a fluke. Somebody was, I don't want to say somebody was lazy and, and didn't fill it up. But, but even in the Krispy Kreme, you can see that, um, that it had some, but it doesn't really fill out that donut. Um, in the Dunkin' Donuts, you can see that there's more of the jelly filling. Um, and that uh, it, it kind of, you know, did it. But if you look at Woodley, Woodley is full of the raspberry filling. It is a feast, I'm telling you. It is a feast for you. Um, it, uh, it is the true definition of, 
uh, a jelly filled donut and what I personally um, became used to as a young kid because well things were different back in the day where um, they didn't skimp back in the day of course as things get up and, and prices change and in both um, uh, ingredients and such um, things became smaller the ingredients went up uh, your products became smaller but the prices went up so um, I guess that's you know a, a that's just the way of the world all right so in closing it out um, I used this plate again for comparison reasons and you can see that uh, I could really lay the um, Krispy Kreme and the Dunkin Donuts side by side and they've stretched almost the length of the plate uh, the Woodley they was <laughs> you can see in in comparison the size of those where I I didn't do them three across um, but I put them um, next to each other and uh, the jelly and I mean the um, the glazed and the chocolate and then stretch the um, the uh, I used to cut jelly because I was, I guess I got a little excited and I didn't uh, I cut it before I uh, meant to do it but um, like I said uh, you can get Krispy Kreme you can get Dunkin Donuts uh, or you can get um, freshly baked from a place like Giants and they are uh, to my knowledge they're baked but if you get the freshly baked from a place like Giants um, you'll probably find out that there's a marked difference in taste when you eat something from the Woodley Bakery uh, as opposed to Giants uh, again I I love baked goods um, I will buy them when I see them um, but I can't help but compare them to freshly baked goods from a place like a neighborhood bakery like I said there are a few neighborhood bakeries uh, dotted around Baltimore um, and like I said I, when I was going to start off I was going to say well back in the day you know they were everywhere which they were um, but in doing my research excuse me behind this I found out that there are probably a few more than I thought were but they're so spread out um, and in the places that they are you would have to probably look them up to find out where they are um, like I said there used to be one in the Highland Town area that closed a few years back uh, and it actually had been in uh, a fixture in Highland Town for so long that it did uh, become a news item um, but again um, Woodley Bakery uh, located at 4905 Bel Air Road um, stop in um, oh one final note I, that I should have put up there is um, a uh, mark difference and the prices not no, I shouldn't say mark difference there's a difference in the prices um, uh, for reasons of uh, maybe company um, and I'll be upfront with you uh, in the prices that I paid um, I and I did this over time because I ate the donuts believe me um, I did this over time I started with Krispy Kreme where I picked up a, a glaze a jelly and a chocolate um, at Krispy Kreme uh, my total uh, at Krispy Kreme for the three donuts was six forty nine. Um, I uh, on another day on another day not the same day I picked up um, the same three donuts but I got a small coffee a small decaf coffee at Dunkin Donuts and paid six ninety so if you take the, the price of the coffee off the Dunkin Donuts their three donuts were actually again uh, less than um, the uh, the Dunkin the Dunkin Donuts were actually less if you take off the price of coffee 
uh, than the Krispy Kreme, which was just three donuts. Dunkin' Donuts was the three donuts and a coffee. Um, but Woodley, which was the last one that I picked up, um, that total came up to six forty-five, uh, and that was the three donuts. Plus, I was on my way to the church and I needed something, and I hadn't had anything that morning, so I picked up four donuts. Actually, I picked up the three uh, donuts. Um, the chocolate, the jelly, and the uh, glazed. But I picked up a Bismarck, which is um, by itself. The Bismarck, I think, runs around one ninety-five. Uh, it is a large, like coffee, coffee roll or something that they had. But I paid six forty-five for four donuts, which is still less than the three donuts I picked up at Krispy Kreme, and they were larger donuts at, at Woodley. So. Again, um, I actually talked over 20 minutes about baked goods and, and not really sitting down. But if you are into baked goods and uh, whether you're cheating on your diet or you're stopping in to pick up fresh bread because they do have fresh bread that they cut right then and there. Uh, they have cookies in, in, in bags that you can just grab cook a bag of cookies and go. Um, one of my personal favorites is that they have some, uh, some, uh, personal, um, personal pies, uh, and I'm looking on the site here. Um, um, I usually get the apple or the French apple. Um, and again, uh, you can get a six inch, um, apple, French apple for five ninety five. Uh, eight inch for eight ninety five or nine inch for thirteen ninety five, which is good for holidays and such. Um, but definitely, um, you can uh, pick up something there that you like. Whether uh, maybe it's just bread and you want to add it to your dinner. Um, definitely, if you're having spaghetti, <laughs> you can grab a loaf of freshly cut bread there. But again, um, it's a favorite of mine. Um, but I thought, uh, I think enough of this bakery that I, I wanted to put on critique, cuisine, uh, cuisine critique. And um, like I said, the comparison wasn't, I didn't start off uh, about a comparison, but uh, in actuality, the comparison of the other places is why I go to Whitley. It's actually on the other side of town. I don't get over there as much. As I used to, I manage a property over there, and right now I don't go over there a lot. But I um, wanted to do Woodley, and I knew I would be in the area uh, earlier this week is when I picked up the um, the donuts at Woodley. Uh, the other ones were picked up last week, uh, but definitely, um, if you're in the mark, if you're in the, you have a taste for fresh baked goods, uh, then definitely uh, stop at Woodley Bakery. So again, thanks for indulging my foodiness, my, um, I don't know if we want to call it guilty pleasure because when I'm eating them, I don't feel guilty. I just like them. So uh, thanks again for tuning in. Um, be blessed. And um, yeah, head out, get something good to eat, um, whether it's a bakery or a restaurant. Thank you for indulging me. Take care. Be blessed.